What's up guys, my name is Khan and today we're back in Scrap Mechanic and I'm gonna be showing you how to build a Logic Piston powered hovercraft car. I know it sounds kind of complicated, but it's actually really pretty simple and I'm gonna be showing you how to build that in this episode. So obviously the first thing you're gonna have to do is build yourself a car. So I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a nice frame of a car here. And uh, I'm also gonna have to consider that it's gonna have to hover as well. So you notice how my design will take that into account. So I'm gonna get building here and uh, we'll see what we come up with. All right, so I think we're all set up here with our basic hover car design. I'm actually really happy with my aesthetic here. I think I did a really good job at making this thing look exactly how I wanted it to. A lot of people like to put wedge blocks and stuff on their creations to try to make it look cool and sleek, but I really think the coolest is just that real nice, authentic brick aesthetic like we can see right here. So you're probably wondering how we're gonna make this thing logic powered and piston powered at the same time while also hovering based on that logic and piston. And uh, this is also gonna be tank steering as well. As you can see, I've got the double bearings all set up for tank steering, but we're gonna have to make sure that we uh, power that with our logic pistons. And this is actually where it gets super, super simple. So all you have to do is get onto the top of your vehicle right here and you're just gonna have to build yourself a radial piston engine. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. Whoops, we don't need that one. All right, and there we go. So you can see how simple this thing is. Uh, all you gotta do is, I think on my connect, connect tool here, it's really just, it's just four pistons. That's all it is. You just put four pistons in like a radius around the center here, and then it will radiate piston power just around this radial engine. So once you hook your four radial pistons up into your radial logic, you just hook that into your radial sensors. And then when you press the button, you get a piston powered radial engine just like that. So like I said, it's really simple, but now we gotta make sure that we hook this thing up to our vehicle so that it's actually radial piston powered. But we're gonna need to route that power through some logic first in order for this to work. All right, so this is where things get really, really simple. You have to hook up this left sensor and make sure it's definitely this left one, not any other sensor, otherwise it won't work. You hook that up into the AND gate right here and that AND gate goes into a NAND gate, which will then route over to another AND gate. And that AND gate will hook over into this OR gate, which then goes over into this AND gate and this AND gate. And then these AND gates both go out to exclusive NOR gates, just like that. And then they route back into each other. Uh, make sure you go from the right side to the left side, just like that. All right, and then this is a very, very important part of the process here. Make sure you put a controller in between these sets of logic gates, and then you got a controller there, and a controller there, and a controller there. And these four controllers are really gonna be what converts your piston power through your logic into your tank drive. And the way these works is by putting these bearings in this particular location and make sure you paint them black. If you don't paint your bearings, this isn't gonna work. But hook up your first controller into these two and you're gonna make sure that this one's gonna be reverse. And then you're gonna set these both to 180 degrees. And then you're gonna hook up this controller to the middle ones and then this controller to the left one and this controller to the right one. And you're gonna make sure that all the ones on the right side here have to be reversed. And also they're gonna be at 180 degrees. Like I said, it's super, super simple. And this one, yeah, you guessed it, uh, 47 degrees and then negative 11 degrees on this one. All right, so if you've hooked all of this stuff up correctly, you should have your piston powered, logic powered, painted bearing uh, tank drive system all ready to go. So you can go ahead and press number one to go forward, just like that. Number two to go backwards. You can see, you can really see the piston power work in there. Number three to go left and you got number four to go right and you can tank drive, you can steer this brick right in place just as if you were a tank, but we're not a tank, we're a brick because bricks are better than tanks. They really should just call it brick drive if I'm being quite honest. So like I said, super, super simple. So now, uh, not for the part that's not so simple, but it actually still is pretty simple. We gotta make this thing hover because this wouldn't be a piston powered, logic powered hover car if it wasn't actually hovering off the ground.
Alright guys, so I did a little bit of tweaking and it was pretty simple. It only took me like five or six minutes or so. So all you're gonna need to do is add a handful of thrusters to this thing and you're gonna have to hook them up to some logic gates and some sensors as well. So that way they can sense the ground because otherwise your vehicle is not gonna know how high it needs to hover off the ground. The main thing you're gonna have to do is uh, make this piston powered. So that's why I've, I've hooked up an inline piston engine right here. So that way, once this activates, that actually powers the thrusters. So here, check it out. So all I gotta do is press the number five key here, and you can see as it spins, it actually starts to lift us off the ground. So it's actually really useful. And then if you wanna go forward, you just activate your other piston engine. So now you have a piston powered tank drive hovercraft just like this. It's absolutely flawless and it's really actually pretty simple. I mean, all in all, this probably took me about maybe 10 minutes to build. So you can definitely do it. It's pretty simple. I'll give you a quick recap here. So obviously you got to start with your basic brick shape and then you got to add your radial piston engine onto that. And then you got to make sure you hook up your piston engine into your logic gates. And if I pull out my connect tool here, you should be able to pretty easily follow what's connected into what. So just do this on your creation as well and you should get the same results pretty much. But uh, really important, make sure your bearings are painted and your controllers are hooked into those bearings. And that pretty much covers the piston logic powered tank drive car aspect of it. And then once again, to make it hover, you just slap a bunch of thrusters on it and you make sure you hook your uh, inline piston engine into those. And then that should give you your hovering ability. And then that is what results in your uh, awesome, amazing, piston powered, logic powered, hover tank drive car. So if you guys like this video, make sure you guys hit the like button, make sure you guys have subscribed. And of course, we'll see you next time.